I'm Logan Crawford, and right now on Spotlight, I am speaking with Dr. William Clark. He is the author of New Horizons in Life, Art, and Poetry, and also the book Faces and Braces. He's also the inventor of the innovative Transforce orthodontic technique. Dr. Clark will be discussing his philosophy of life, personal experiences in art and poetry, new techniques to improve facial appearance and treat malocclusion, observations on contemporary society, and the importance of these topics for a happy, fulfilled life. We are delighted to have the doctor back in the spotlight today. Thank the team at Prime 7 Media for helping put the doctor in the spotlight today. And ask viewers like you to support writers like him by subscribing to our channel. Doctor, thank you so much for being our guest today. Well, first of all, uh, Logan, I'm delighted to be here. And I'm so grateful to for you to um, organize this interview. And it is important for me to be able to spread my ideas and philosophy to a wider public. And, you know, it's just amazing that we can sit here at home. I'm at home in Scotland. Exactly. And I'm, looking, I'm looking at a beautiful view. I can just look out of my window. We have a sun lounge and I'm looking across the estuary, the wide estuary of the Firth of Forth. Wow. It's just a magnificent view. There's a clear blue sky. Here we are in Scotland. It's a <laughs> clear blue sky. That's uh, wonderful. And, yeah, we can and, see the sunlight on your face, which yeah. is great. I'm it's glad good. it's a beautiful day there. And your brain, I think, thrives on beautiful places, beautiful images, being amongst nature, being amongst people whose lives you have improved and faces you have changed. And let's first talk about your book, New Horizons in Life, Art, and Poetry. This is quite a personal book for you because it captures many, many aspects of your life, I feel. Yes. Uh, now, let me explain how, why or when I wrote this book. Mm -hmm. It was at the beginning of the pandemic, the COVID pandemic. Now, at that time, we were very confined. We couldn't socialize so much. We couldn't get out and about. Uh, we had to wear masks and so on. Uh, so I was looking for something to occupy my mind and keep me busy. Mm. And so I looked back over my life and in the 1980s, I attended a correspondence course. Uh, it was by the Paris ABC School of Art. Mm -hmm. And this was by correspondence. You know, I, I stayed at home and I did all of the, uh, the parts of the course, the drawing, painting, and, and I did all of that at home. Mm -hmm. And I had instruction, and when I did each part of the work, whether it's uh, drawing, painting, whatever, um, I then sent my my results to Paris, and they were reviewed by a, a, a painter, a, you know, a professional painter, and they he would give me back his comments and advice on, and that is how I managed to progress in this course. It was just an excellent course. I loved it. Wonderful. And it kept me occupied. Yeah. And so then uh, when I looked back on that, on my work from the 1980s, it was something for me to occupy my mind with during the COVID uh, shutdown. Mm -hmm. And I really enjoyed it. Absolutely. And that work that you did in the 1980s has come to life in the 20s. Yes. Um, with exactly. the New yeah. Horizons, which is great. Yes. I, I've always had ideas. You know, um, uh, I, I, of course, my profession is orthodontics. Mm -hmm. And uh, I have uh, experience of 60 years in orthodontics 
I, I, it has enabled me to develop new techniques. In uh, 1970-73, I developed twin blocks. Mm. That was a new technique, a new orthodontic technique. And this technique was to help patients who had a receding chin. And if you have a receding chin, that affects other aspects of your face and your life. If your lower jaw is back, mm -hmm. your tongue is back, you can't breathe so well. Right. That that affects your affects your health, your entire uh, situation, and and uh, so I developed a very simple technique called twin blocks. Now, for a patient with a receding chin, there is a block on the upper posterior teeth and a block on the lower, uh, not anterior teeth, but the, the, they're further forward, the, post, the, the, the canine from their back. And the, mm. these two blocks meet on an inclined plane. And the effect of that inclined plane is that you have to bite forward. Mm. Uh, and, and that brings your bite, lower jaw out. forward, actually, it, first of all, it immediately improves your profile mm -hmm. because you no no longer have a receding chin and also uh it it by moving your jaw forward and biting on these blocks it makes your lower jaw grow mm. so in fact you grow to that improved position where your teeth meet correctly instead of your upper teeth being way prominent and right. your lower teeth being way back this corrects that Exactly. Now, and instead of pulling your upper teeth back, yeah, you know, this is putting them in a more natural position. Yeah. And we're not simply moving the teeth. We're right. correcting jaw position. And uh, this was in 1970s that I developed that technique. It has been used worldwide. It's used in every country in the world. I've lectured for 40 years um, in 55 countries. And in every country in the world, twin blocks is the method that's used to correct that jaw position. Amazing, amazing. And, and then more recently, I, I had another brainwave. <laughs> um, I, I developed, uh, you, you know, invisible appliances are the rage today. Mm -hmm. You know, for example, I know that you... Uh, also have experienced Invisalign. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> like a lot of Americans, you can even get them online sure. now. They send sure. you uh, a little kit, you bite into it, and then they send yeah. you back the retainers, yeah. Sure, and that is a technique using invisible appliances, uh, that very thin little appliances that cover the teeth. Mm -hmm. And uh, during the treatment, you have to change your appliance every two weeks. Right. So they make, have to make a new one every two weeks. And this progressively moves the individual teeth to correct slight irregularities. It will not deal with major problems with a lot of crowding and stuff. Um, you need, you, you need, you either need, uh, you know, train tracks. <laughs> Or, or you, you know, you need orthodontic appliances that are visible right. to correct major problems. Exactly. Um, but then I had another brainwave, and it was uh, using appliances that are inside the mouth, in the palate, that have the facility to expand the arch, widen the arch, so you, you resolve anterior crowding when you widen the arch. Right. But in addition, there is a second version called the sagittal version, and that will move teeth forward. Mm. Uh, now, this is using appliances attached to the posterior teeth, mm -hmm. and they will expand the arch or advance the arch. Uh, and using very light forces with nickel titanium springs. Amazing. Okay. 
So we have prepared, you and I have prepared uh, illustrations to show how these appliances work. So I, I propose that we first of all have a look at my book, uh, New Horizons Absolutely. In, li in, in Life, Art and Poetry. And this is my, it's part of my philosophy of life, if you like. Absolutely. I think every aspect of your life, you're an artist, doctor. I think with your painting, you're an artist, with your sketching, with your photography, and even your orthodontia, because what you're doing with the orthodontic appliances is creating a better and improved face, which uh, is no small job or no small task indeed. Yes. So, so let's let's talk about your book, New Horizons. This was born in the 1980s. Like you said, you took a correspondence course on yes. how to how to draw, how to paint, how to sketch. Yes. Yes. And that went quite well. And then you yes. found yourself a little bored during the pandemic and you decided to yes. take this artwork and combine it with some of your writing. So tell us about the book itself and what people can expect when they open up the beautiful cover. Yeah. Well, uh, this course, Paris ABC, uh, course, correspondence course in art was really tremendous. Mm. It, it inspired me. Uh, and every week you would have a new project. So, and, and advice uh, in, you know, as you progressed, I would, you know, draw something and send that work to Paris and mm. I'd get feedback and criticism and advice to help me advance. And this helped me enormously. I, I really was stimulated by the way the course was set up. And it, it, it really, uh, it improved my art, no end. It was just, can we show some of the examples we, we have? Uh, Absolutely, prepared? it's it's on the screen right now. So the viewers at home can take a look at the uh, beautiful artwork of Dr. Clark. And uh, this was all created during the 80s or some of it was created during the 80s, Dr. It right? And others all, was different decades, it was, right? It was all created during the 80s. All, okay. Yeah, I mean, I have I live a very busy life and I yeah. travel, I've traveled the world many, many years. So since then, I haven't had a chance to go back to Paris, the, this course. But mm -hmm. you know what? I, I'm I'm 85 years young. Yeah. And I'm planning to go back and do another course with Paris ABC School of Art in my uh, in my later years. Right. I'm going to take it up again. It sounds great. I, I would it, like to show the audience what it did for me in the 1980s. When I look back at what I did in the 1980s, that's probably the thing that I'm most proud of. Hmm. Okay, Amazing. not relating to orthodontics, but uh, I, I developed talent there. Well, allow me to show you the cover of yes. this book, which is entitled New Horizons in Life, Art, and Poetry. And I, I uh, in fact, that's one of my books. I've, I've written many books, really, mm -hmm. but this one, this is another one. Faces and braces. Faces and braces. And, and on the cover is my granddaughter. Wonderful. She has, she has a beautiful smile. Yes. And she says, my name is Rebecca, and I want to talk to you about orthodontics for you and me. Treat yourself to a brilliant smile. Now, when I look at the back cover of that book, it summarizes what orthodontics is all about. Rebecca wants to talk to you about faces and braces. Would you like to improve your image and your prospects in life? This book can change your life. Whether you're a youngster, a teenager, or an adult, if you're embarrassed to smile because of your teeth, faces and braces will help you to smile with confidence. Do you have crooked teeth? Do your front teeth stick out? Does your chin stick out? Do you lack confidence? 
This book has answers for these problems. Catch up on Cool Chat. Did you know that the tin grin is the in thing? <laughs> That's braces. <laughs> Train tracks are trendy. Brace yourself for a brilliant smile. Would you like train tracks or invisible braces? Gary was teased at school until he fought back in the gym. His teeth don't stick out anymore, and now he's team captain. Are you anxious about your own smile or one of the family? Read on to see what happened to Gary and his friends. So this is a confidence booster. Absolutely. Faces and braces uh, is what it's all about. And we forget how at a young age, a child, maybe 15, 16, 13 years old, going into the orthodontist's office and thinking about getting those train tracks or dealing with these aligners, it feels like it's going to be forever to be in them for a year, two years, maybe three years. But at the end of that tunnel is the reward of a beautiful smile. And yes. so it's great to reinforce that with to young people. And your book is perfect to do that. For example, yeah. we talked about Invisalign. Mm -hmm. Now, these are Invisalign appliances. Mm -hmm. They're clear appliances mm -hmm. that fit on the teeth. But you have to change these every two weeks. Right. To, and you may need many appliances, 50 or more appliances, mm -hmm. uh, depending on the severity of your problem. Um, now, I want to show you Transforce appliances. Mm. Amazing. Now so they're anchored on those posterior inside teeth. Inside the teeth, they're anchored on the posterior teeth. But the beauty is they have... Uh, an expansion unit in the front here. Mm. And there is a nickel titanium spring in there. And that can expand the arch, the entire arch, by eight millimeters. So right. if you have anterior crowding, that's how you correct it. You don't correct it with Invisalign because it doesn't have the expansion component. And we can do this in the upper or lower arch. Mm. And when you put these appliances in the mouth, they are invisible. Mm. They're behind the teeth. Amazing. But they, they, they have that additional expansion component that isn't there with Invisalign. And this now, is called invisible transforce orthodontics. Yes, this is invisible transforce orthodontics. Now, uh, there are two designs of, of transforce. First of all, um, transverse, expanding in this direction, mm -hmm. or the other way is sagittal. Now, this appliance fits behind the teeth. Mm -hmm. but it's designed to move the teeth forward. Yeah. So if your teeth are leaning back, you do it that way. And that, again, resolves crowding in the arch. And we have this on both upper and lower appliances. Amazing. Um, and, and once again, with the, the sagittal appliance, you can't see it. Yeah. It's totally invisible. But... It does much more than aligners can do. Aligners can't treat the crowding. Right. These can treat the crowding. Exactly. And uh, this is this is a revolution in invisible orthodontics. Amazing. Because now we have appliances that are still invisible, but they uh, they can expand the arch this is the sagittal mm -hmm. the wire and you see there is a spring in there that's mm -hmm. the way it works a nickel titanium spring right almost like a little piston yeah and that yeah. that's where you get your expansion amazing and, and in the same way with the 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 transverse appliance 
you can you can expand the arch with the transverse appliance you can expand the arch like this amazing now that can have up to eight millimeters of expansion amazing so you have crowded teeth there's no yeah. room for but you do this and all of a sudden these teeth are aligned and you have you have corrected the crowding amazing amazing so, when did you come up with this technique doctor uh this was in uh 2002 mm -hmm. at that time i was practicing part-time in mm -hmm. portugal i was going to portugal once every 10 weeks mm -hmm. now i could fit my transverse appliance i'm in scotland the patients in portugal that will work all the time every day it's not just moving the teeth slightly with an, a new appliance every two weeks mm -hmm. it's using one appliance to expand continuously and when i'd go back after 10 weeks there would be major change in the patient's teeth mm -hmm. now i have sent you some files that I hope we will be able to use to absolutely uh, not simply in this uh, interview, but to to show to patients as a presentation to show them how invisible transverse orthodontics is a revolution in invisible orthodontic treatment. Amazing, amazing! It is a revolution. It's yeah. uh. It's good for the environment as well. You don't have all that plastic that is thrown out every two weeks. Uh, I'd imagine it's a cost saver for some of the patients. And like very, you said, yes, it also very, addresses issues that just can't be done with clear aligners. Mm -hmm. uh, certainly, it, it, it's uh, one appliance will last you a year. Oh, wonderful. And it can be in the upper and lower arch. And it just... Uh, you. Uh, Every 10 weeks when I went to see these patients in Portugal, they had made more progress than I could make sitting at home and fitting conventional braces, which, again, you have to have a bracket on every tooth. That's mm -hmm. the tin grin. Yeah. And also, you have to change the wires. Right. You don't even have to change the wires with transforce. Amazing. It's all there. You know, you, all you do is you fit it. Yeah. And if you see the patient once every 10 weeks, that's all it takes. And I I, I can show, and, and uh, you will see in the files that I've sent you, I can see more progress after four months than I would see in a year with other techniques. Amazing. So it is cost effective. Invisible transverse orthodontics is the future of orthodontics amazing amazing you for, do... example, you, you could, for example you can use it as a pre-aligner technique mm -hmm. you fit the transverse first it does all the big stuff right it creates space and then you just use your aligners to finish the treatment yeah for the fine-tuning perhaps yeah for the fine-tuning yeah yeah Amazing. Amazing. Well, you're quite a brilliant man, doctor. Um, you're an inventor. You're innovative. You're artistic. I know a another part of your life that's one of your favorite parts of your life as well. And that's the wonderful relationship that you have with your beautiful bride. So you want to talk to her. I, she'll be watching yes. this. Tell us a little yes. bit about your life together. And I know she's been at your side and supporting you and helping you and encouraging you as you've you know, made innovations in orthodontia, when you've sat down to write this book, she was with you during the pandemic. Tell us a little bit about your life with your wife. Well, again, I have shown some pictures of my wife in my presentation. Mm -hmm. uh, we have been married for 63 years. Wow. And uh, we're, you know, we're just absolutely devoted to one another. And she's a wonderful lady. Um, she, I, she is beautiful in every way. Her mm. personality just lights up the room. 
And uh, she has a brain. We have totally different brains. Right. <laughs> because Sheila will remember and quote verbatim things that happened decades ago. She did this for me even today. <laughs> there was something that we were talking about, and she went right back to when we first met. And she... <laughs> Amazing. So, you know, she is my brain in terms of memory. She remembers everything, and she's very, very intelligent. I've been blessed to have her at my side, and uh, we we just came home uh, at the weekend from a holiday in Portugal, mm. where I we still go occasionally, uh, and uh, it was just blissful. Yeah. yeah, wonderful, wonderful. Portugal is such a beautiful country. Um, you. So it's so nice that you get to visit there. Sounds like you go there quite often between your work and pleasure, which is great. Yes, yeah. yes. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Let's again, one more time for the audience at home. We've been talking to Dr. William Clark. He is an orthodontist. He's also a poet. He is a writer. He is an inventor. He is an innovator. He has come up with a wonderful book that you'll want to add to your collection. It's something you'll want to keep on your coffee table. It will remind you about the beauty of life, the beauty of art, the beauty of poetry. The name of the book is New Horizons in Life, Art, and Poetry. There's another book he has written. It is called Faces and Braces. And this book is perfect for anyone who needs orthodontic treatment or is considering it because it will give you the strength and the reasons to go get that done. It'll change your smile. It'll change your health. It'll change your life. He is also the innovator of Twin Blocks, and it is a game changer in orthodontics. Another game changer in orthodontics is the Invisible Transforce Orthodontics Technique. And this is an invisible orthodontic appliance that is anchored on the posterior teeth, and it will change your smile, and it'll change it in ways that clear aligners simply can't do, but you will have the same result. You'll have orthodontic treatment that nobody can see. Um, oh, this is uh, just the beginning of a poem um, on sunset. Crimson ball, dressed in the scarlet gown, gliding through the stratosphere. Prima ballerina, tripping the light fantastic, dancing and romancing with passing clouds playing the perennial clown in a circus of bright lights, merging into a yellow mist, settling comfortably on the horizon. A brilliant vision we dare not rest our eyes on, hovering to deliver the last glimpse of daylight before disappearing into the night. These are the first two verses of that poem. That is a beautiful poem, and it really captures a sunset, something that you want to look at, you want to embrace, but you really can't. Here's Moonlight. Happy Cremola Man. You know, the moon used to appear on Cremola packets. Oh, okay. <laughs> laughing through a tracery of cloud to wink and vanish in a halo of white mist. Master of mystery and disguise. Cosmic clown, hiding under the cloak of night to burst forth with silvered kiss. Metamorphosis of an ethereal star. Lady of the night, observing life through silver-rimmed spectacles, flirting with passionate wisps of cloud, kissing indigo at midnight. Seductive circle, caught in a dream of translucent thought, weaving magical silhouettes, spellbound. Opalescent pearl, suspended at the throat of night, revolving introspectively to distill soft shadows into dark souls in B 
peaceful symbolism. Incandescent sphere rolling gently across the upturned bowl of light, turning oceans to spawn, spawn microbes and men who play at God fleetingly in an empty void. Cool iridescence, turning an ever-changing face toward the earth, exploding quietly upon the shattered windows of consciousness to touch a deeper chord of immortality. It continues, but I think that's enough. Beautiful, beautiful. Uh, Every line is beautiful. Every line captures moonlight. I love the line, kissing indigo at midnight. I think that's perfect. Well, we're pretty much out of time, doctor. So we will yes. thank you for your time. Thank you for joining us. Wish you a wonderful 2023. And uh, I appreciate you being our guest today on Spotlight. Yes, I have enjoyed it. Uh, um, very much, Logan, and uh, I hope you can edit out all the, <laughs> all the bits. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. Thank you so much for your time, Doctor, and to the folks at home, I'm Logan Crawford, thanking you for your time this time. Until next time.